Good morning all. This is Kumar Pratyush and today we are going to talk about pharmacophore modeling and molecular docking. Pharmacophore modeling includes the designing of such a chemical entity having essential features for the biological activity. According to the definition of pharmacophore given by Paul Ehrlich, a molecular framework that carries essential features responsible for drug biological activity is called as pharmacophore. Further, the definition was modified in the reference to the 2D and 3D models. Some pharmacophore features are hydrogen bond donors, hydrogen bond acceptors, aromatic rings, acidic groups, basic groups, positively charged centers, negatively charged centers, hydrophobic centers, etc. This is the representation of a pharmacophore of a normal molecule. Here we can see the essential features are highlighted with HBD that is hydrogen bond donor and there is a distance of between two hydrogen bond donors being represented in this particular diagrammatic representation. Here we can see that there is an essential requirement for the bond distance between two HBD that is hydrogen bond donors and HBA that is hydrogen bond acceptors. So what we have to do ideally is we have to identify through the softwares the HBA and HBD first and then equivalently design the molecule according to the pharmacophore model that has been generated by the set of molecules. The 3D pharmacophore modeling includes the modeling based on the 3D features, yet three-dimensional features which also include certain complementary binding groups which are responsible for active binding of amino acid to the receptor. Ligand-based pharmacophore modeling is widely used and practiced initially before carrying out the molecular docking study. The chemicals are selected based on their IC50s and their standards and mechanism of action and those set of chemicals are treated with a server or a software to develop a pharmacophore model. That pharmacophore model is ideally studied and the ideal molecule for the biological activity or the best chemical entity are designed equivalently. This is the representation of such molecules in which we can see that the phenyl ring is represented by, by the circle which represents that aromatic ring and typically the phenyl ring is very very important for the biological activity of this set of library. We can also see in this representation that the nitrogen is also highlighted with the circle. So we can also identify that nitrogen being cyclized is also an essential feature for this set of library. There are certain softwares which are freely available for the pharmacophore modeling and these are the set of softwares that are represented in the slide. You can go to the link given in the description box for the Pharmacist web server tutorial which is a freely available tutorial and you can carry out the pharmacophore modeling and this is the home page of that particular software. There are only three steps. First, you have to input a set of molecules. Second, you have to select the output number of pharmacophores and you have to quote your email id and you will get the results emailed for a short span of time. You need to download those results because it is a web server and those will be deleted after time. Coming to the molecular docking. So molecular docking is a, based on a general principle of lock and key model. 
Here, what we try to do, we try to dock a particular ligand which has been optimized and designed on the pharmacophore model in an active site of an receptor where we can work on for biological activity. The essential sites which are responsible for binding and improving the biological activity are known as active site. The receptor is nothing but a set of amino acids and those are completely dynamic in nature. So what we have to do is our softwares that help us to dock a particular ligand in the receptor docks the ligand into several conformations and throughout the protein. Finally, the software gives us best 10 conformation which are showing best binding interactions with the receptor. The binding interactions are measured as binding affinities and binding affinities are represented in minus values. The more minus the value is, the more good is the binding. The protein ligand docking is nothing but an interaction study of an ligand with a protein. So what we have to do in this case is, firstly we have to identify the receptor by visualizing the disease parameters. Those receptors are cleansed initially using certain tools like Pymol and Discovery Studio visualizer. Further, the ligands and the receptor are converted into a single format and then they are treated for the molecular docking study. The molecular docking study leads to the formation of a complex which is having certain hydrogen bond interactions at the active sites with amino acids. So as we told the theory of docking includes lock and key model. The best key for the lock will be selected as the best molecule and it can be screened as the best. These are the softwares that can be used for the molecular docking process. The link of this page will be given in the description box. You can check for the same. The link of the tutorial of molecular docking is also provided in the description box. You can go through the video and check for the tutorial of Pyrex software. Thank you.